Hey everyone, this is an introduction video to 2D kinematics and the outline of this video is to um, explain what the rigid body assumption is, um, to show different kinds of plane motion and to do an introduction to rotation. So, um, The first thing is that the rigid body assumption is simply the assumption that the body being observed will not deform in any way. This simply means that the length between any two arbitrary points on any given rigid body will remain the same without time dependency. Okay, that's rigid body assumption done. So, plane motion. Plane, uh, this is a two dimensional motion on any given plane with respect to an arbitrary set frame of reference. There are three kinds of plane motion, all of which are explained in this video. You have uh, translation, which is the movement of a body like so, with the same motion as the center of mass. So if this body, if the center of mass moves here, then so too does the rest of the body but their lines remain parallel. So anywhere on the body, so we'll label this A, this B, this A dash, B dash. So A, A dash is parallel to B, B dash, which means that the body remains parallel. Um, we can have rectilinear, which is the example you just saw here, or you can have curvilinear. So, that's the example just seen. Curvilinear is like so. Where the path followed is curved. So, the body ends up parallel to where it was before. However, the lines that it have traveled, so the line that it's, or the, the, um, the path that it's taken is curved as opposed to being straight. So, That's our center of mass. This is this is B and this is B dash. Okay, uh, fixed axis rotation. So about at a fixed axis. So say this is our fixed axis, and we have a body like, or well, it doesn't really matter, matter the shape of a body. If if we have any body, you know, something shaped like this, and it rotates about that, it's fixed to move in this manner. So if this point's fixed, it's constrained to move like so which is what's going to happen about this point O. So if you have a point A here, it can move to this point here if we have an arbitrary body, so it will move to A dash, and this point will remain the same. Okay, so general plane motion is a combination of both translation, whether it be rectilinear or curvilinear, and rotation about a fixed point. So, if we have, say, a triangle shaped like this, and it translates, well, it's gonna translate and rotate, but you'll see that in a second. It'll translate here. So, at that point is the same as what it was. 
moves to, to here. I should probably draw my triangle a bit better. But you get the picture. This is another triangle. So this is where this triangle A, B, C has moved. So A dash, B dash, D dash. It's moved to there. And then it's going to rotate about its center. So we'll end up with A double dash, B double dash, and C double dash. So it's a combination of translation and rotation. A better example is probably a rectangular body translating and then rotating about this point here to say something like that. And something like that, we can have A, B, so A dash, B dash, and that's A double dash here. Okay, um, that's what I'm going to do for this video. I'm going to start on rotation in the next video. Thanks for watching.